This is John Black, Super Chemist. This is not an instructional video. It is just a vlog showing a video account of some chemistry experiments I have done or I'm learning about. I do not go over all safety concerns, so if you repeat anything in the video, you do it at your own risk. Here to try to make some nitroethane. I'm going to show you my apparatus first. I'm going to put uh, the nitrite, silver nitrite in here with some diethyl ether. You can see I got the stir bore on there. And then I will drip in some ethyl bromide that is mixed with some diethyl ether as the solvent. Right here I got the uh, thermometer so I can make sure that I keep my temp low. I'm going to have a, a uh, ice bath right here I'll put under in there so to keep this nice and cold the reason I'm showing you my apparatus first is because I, I broke my equalizing funnel okay so I had to build one from the parts I have and this is basically how I did it here, let me get you a good view of it you can see I got the uh, valve just like on an equalizing funnel and then below it Remember, it always has that little thing that comes up and goes up to the top. See, I got another valve. And this right here, this is just a Vigorex column. And then I have another thing here that it has a valve on it. All right, so I can fill this all up and have this closed. And when I want to drip it in, I drip it in. And the gases can always come up this way. You know what I mean? Now, you notice up at the top, I have this clamp just here for no reason, it looks like. But if you look up at top, see how nice and round that is? Look what happens if I take this off. Look at that. It crimps it. Now see, I wanted to compare these. You can see you got the valve, valve. Up on top, you got the side arm, right? The side arm goes below the valve down to here. So you can see it's the same exact thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chill this down, this flask here. I'm going to take it off of here and put it in the freezer, let it freeze down, let it cool down. And I can't get the stir bar to work with this stuff. I have about 200 mils of uh, diethyl ether in there, and you can see I got the uh, silver nitrite. So what I'm going to do instead of using the stir bar and dripping it in. I took it all the way down to zero. Actually, it's below zero. And here I have 50 mils of ether and 50 mils of ethyl bromide. And I'm just going to dump a little bit and stir it up manually. And just keep a look at the, uh, at the temp. Try to keep it under 10 degrees. Here, I'm going to put it back in the freezer. Now, I'll just let that cool down in the freezer for a little bit and add some more ethyl bromide, you know, like a couple meals at a time. Shake it up as I do it. I'll take it out of the freezer every couple minutes and shake it. So, this has been a long time. It went up to 30 degrees Celsius. We'll try it this time again and see. Try to keep it cooler this time. So I think I'm going to keep the temp. I didn't really have it in an ice bath. I was just putting it in the freezer. I have it in an ice bath and I'm going to put it in the freezer in between things and we'll see if this goes faster. Alright, I've made so many mistakes with this. First thing I did was I uh, I didn't put it I put it in an ice bath but I didn't put any ice in it. I just had water in it. So you might as well say I didn't have it in an ice bath. Even though I had it in the freezer, the water wasn't cold enough, you know what I mean? And the first initial thing that I put in there was about seven milliliters. <laughs> It took the temperature up slowly to 30 degrees Celsius and stayed there for a while because I didn't realize I didn't have any ice 
you know, I pulled out of the freezer just this. I wouldn't pull out the ice bath. I didn't just think about it. It just didn't think. Um, but once I put it into an ice bath here like this, um, it kept the temp down, <coughs> uh, you know, brought it down pretty good. Um, it took me an hour and a half after that first initial discharge, I mean, uh, initial charge of stuff in here. Um, an hour and a half. Now, the next half hour, I put the next, you know, 93 milliliters in there. And I kept it between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius. Right now, I think it's about 6 degrees Celsius. Now, at 4.30, which was just like five minutes ago, um, you know, I'm just stirring it. And I let it sit for a little bit to get cooled down or whatever. I'm going to do this for at least, at least an hour. All right. Then I'm not going to worry as much about cooling it down. I'm supposed to have it, and I'm going to put a, a link to the description in for uh, Chem Player. He does the same video, but he obviously does a better job. Um, this is the first time I've done this. You know what I mean? Everything's going wrong. Um, first thing I would say is that. Like Chem Player, he does one third. I'm doing three times as much as Chem Player did. And the solids, I just can't get the solids to stir. If you're going to do this much, you're going to need a mechanical stir, um, not a um, magnetic stir. You know what I mean? The magnetic stir just isn't strong enough to stir this. So now I'm going to have to sit here and do it, you know, manually pretty much. And it's probably going to take longer, although I'm stirring it a lot more vigorously than a stir bar would, you know what I mean? Uh, but you're supposed to keep this between 8 and 12 degrees, say 10 degrees Celsius. So I'll get back to you when uh, maybe another hour goes by and we'll see. I don't. It doesn't look like anything's happening, though. I mean, it was yellow going in, and now it's yellow still. You know what I mean? Nothing has changed color. Nothing seems to, you know, although that initial addition that I put in, boy, that really jacked up the temperature. Uh, there really hasn't been, you know, even the temperature, it's been pretty easy to control. I mean, after that first addition. So, oh, and another thing. Oh, my God, another thing. I had, this is where I have my ethyl bromide diethyl ether that I was adding. I had it right here. I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of an indention on this. See how it like goes, curves in? A couple little drops came out and went into this thingy here, say a milliliter, which I think this is a water sensitive reaction. If you, if you think of uh, when you make a, because the, the byproduct is going to be an ester, right? When you think about making an organic ester, right, like ethyl acetate, acid promotes, you know, the uh, it catalyzes the reaction. And so I'm guessing you shouldn't have any protons in here, meaning any alcohol, ethyl alcohol has protons, water has protons, uh, anything like that might uh, promote the ester formation instead of the nitro formation. So, there was another mistake. This has been one mistake-filled video. <laughs> um, but we'll see what the, and the other thing was, was like when I did the, uh, when I made the uh, ether, and I made the ethyl bromide, I didn't dry it out at all. I mean, and I ran out of calcium chloride, which I usually dry it with calcium chloride to make sure that I soak up any alcohol that's in there. And I didn't do that. I did a really crappy job on making the ethyl bromide and the, uh, well, not the ethyl bromide, but the diethyl ether, definitely. Um, so I've done a piss poor job. Um, we'll see how much of a difference all these mistakes make in the yield. You know what I mean? My, my yield when I get done. So for about six hours last night, I put this like this with the aluminum on it because I don't want the sunlight screwing up any of my chemicals. And I just go like this for about this long. And I'd set it down. I only did that maybe three times an hour. Now, 
seven and a half hours later or whatever it was everything was still yellow everything was still whatever so I let this sit for eight hours while I slept and nothing was stirred on it I'm hoping something happened something did happen now this used to be a nice yellow uh, you know it wasn't a dark yellow it was nice bright clean yellow now it's kind of white an off-white like gray almost that definitely ain't yellow and you can't really tell as good as me on camera But that is definitely not yellow. It's a gray, a grayish white. So something did happen. I don't know if you can see up on top, even that, it's a little yellow up on top because there's no, you know, this, all the stuff is down here um, that would react with it. But even that is gray, grayish. It's more like yellow gray so there's still some stuff that isn't reactive even down here in the bottom there's a little bit of yellows tint here and there uh, I'm guessing it didn't all react yet um, what I should do is just test it I don't know if you can see it there's a tiny bit of silver nitrate in there not nitrite nitrate all right it's a little test tube there's my finger so you can see it's a small test tube and I'm going to pour some azeotropic uh, ethanol in there. And we'll try to dissolve that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take a sample, a little sample of that silver nitrate ethanol. And I'm going to take a sample of my out of the reaction pot. And I'll put it in there. Shake it around. Wow, I see very little precip. You can see it's cloudy. You can see on the left how it's clear, and on the right, it's got some kind of precip now. So all day I maybe got up my lazy butt maybe one one time an hour to shake this for 30 seconds and uh, then I went to sleep for eight hours and I got up and here I am again. Um, I know I'm testing it, it's just a waste of time because it's not going to be done even though it's been a long, long time here uh, because I haven't stirred it barely yet at all. So I made this little contraption. We'll see if it works, so I'm going to just put a twisty tie thing around the trigger of this drill. And you can see it's stirring it up a little bit. It's not perfect. You got the little drill thingy there, um, but we'll see. At least it's better than not shaking it at all. You know, shaking it once an hour—that's ridiculous. See, I got the band on the trigger. Then, you know, I just pull on the, on the thing. Turn it off. Turn it on. Don't miss part two. Have a great day, and always remember science is great.